Hello and welcome to Because You Asked, I'm Annie Cyrus. On today's Because You Asked, I will be answering one of the most popular questions we have been receiving here at the American Truth Project. That is, what's the difference between Shia and Sunni Muslims? Before I get started on that, I want you to know one very important point. Doesn't matter what sect of Islam a person is practicing, they read the same Quran and they follow the same prophet being Muhammad. With that being said, let's cover the differences. The biggest difference between Sunni and Shia Muslims is the fact that Shia people believe in 12 Imams that took power after Muhammad, starting with Ali, who was Muhammad's son-in-law at the time of Muhammad's death. And from there, every other Imam was blood related to Muhammad. The Sunni people believe the power was taken and Islamic movement was led by Abu Bakr, the caliph of the time Muhammad passed away. And after that, two more caliphs took power. That's the biggest difference between Shia and Sunni, and that is the reason the battle and war between them even started. The war over power. After that, the biggest difference is in the pillar of Islam. Sunni people, or general Islamic people, follow five pillars in Islam, which is faith, shahada, salat, which is a prayer, zakat, which is charity, fasting, and also hajj, meaning you have to go to Mecca and show your respect and praise to Allah at least once during your lifetime. Now, when it comes to Shia people, they have two extra pillars. One of them, interesting enough, is actually jihad. Yes, Shia Muslims are obligated to commit jihad under their pillar of religion. And then the other one is actually a different form of charity called khums, which is one-fifth, meaning one-fifth. Now, the interesting part is Islamic Republic of Iran is the only majority Shia country and they are known as the most moderate Islamic country, even though they have an extra pillar that tells them they have to commit jihad. I think that's an interesting point to think about. But with that being said, another very, very, very tiny difference between Shia and Sunni is also the way they carry their prayer. The body language is different. And also, I might add that Sunni people actually think in reality, Shia Muslims are not real Muslims because they believe in a uh, Ali as an Imam, and that adds to their Shahada. Meaning, when a Sunni Muslim says the Shahada, they say, I believe there's only one God, and that is Allah, and Muhammad is Allah's prophet. But when Shia people say the Shahada, right after Muhammad is Allah's prophet, they say Ali is the only sacred Imam who had the power to follow and continue spreading a lost message. For that reason, Sunni people do not consider Shia Muslims a real Muslim. Please remember, we are here to answer your questions. We are here to educate you on the dangers we are facing today as human society. So do not hesitate to send us your questions through our email, website, social media. And you can also go to americantruthproject.org, subscribe for free to our newsletter so you never miss an important episode like today. Don't forget to also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much. I'm Annie Cyrus.